Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Lay Tarot. Going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Going to tap into the energies of love that surround you at this time. See what message your guides and angels have for you. So I'm going to pull a couple of oracle cards and then I will clarify with tarot. So um, guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, protect my energy vibration at the highest as I channel this message for the Gemini Collective. So if you're a cross watcher here for Gemini, please remember to flip switch the energy's roles as the energy is fluid. If this does not resonate, please don't force it. Check out other placements, all right? Show me the energy of love that's surrounding Gemini at this time. What does Gemini need to know about the energy of love that surrounds them? Side piece in the reverse. <laughs> okay, so either you are a side piece or not wanting to be a side piece is what I feel, bottom of the deck. Children, immaturity. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to um, not jump the board on this one. But someone's pulling away or there's an energy of you not wanting to be just someone's sexual pleasure, wanting more than just sex, looking for actual connection is what I'm getting. So if you are a mistress or um, involved in a connection where there is third party energy, you're walking away from that, you're releasing that. Or if you're dealing with someone that you are connected to that's invested in a third person, you're, you're moving away. So not wanting to be the third or part of a third is what I'm getting, Gemini. So spirit guides, angels, please give me another energy card towards Gemini's love energy at this time. Give me more energy in regards to the love surrounding Gemini at this time. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. So you may be dealing with someone that has a sexual addiction. So certainly there's someone that's attached to this third party that's all about immediate gratification. There's a longing for something more. There's longing for... Um, commitment. There's a longing for connection here that's bigger than just physical is what I feel. There's a healing energy. There's walking away from a connection where you are competition, in competition, or only being used for sexual gratification. There's an energy of you healing that, right? Walking away from something toxic, a toxic relationship, or possibly some type of an addiction. Could be sexual, could be any kind of addiction. But that is the energy that surrounds you at this time. Like I said, if it does not resonate, check out other placements. But that's the energy that I'm feeling, and that's what I'm going to clarify using tarot now. So Spirit Guides Angels, please clarify this message for the Gemini Collective. Protect my energy as well as theirs as we channel for the highest good. Why is side peace and healing heart here for the energy of love that surrounds Gemini? I'm going to pull a card for the um, person that's connecting to you, a card for the connection, and then the outcome. So please show me the energy of the person that's connecting to Gemini in love. What does Gemini need to know about this person and this energy? Show me the energy of this person that's connecting to them in love does Gemini need to know? We've got King of Wands. So this is someone that you're very attracted to and who's very attracted to you is what I feel. There's definitely chemistry here with the King of Wands. You may be dealing with an Aries or have Aries in your chart. This is someone that marches to the beat of their own drum. I don't feel that this person was promising you anything more than what they gave you though. I'm not picking up deception here with that King of Wands, but there is someone that you're very attracted to. This is someone that you enjoy being with. This is someone that makes you feel good, makes you feel good about yourself, right? But you're interested in something more than just this excitement, just this attraction. You're wanting something deeper is what I feel. So this person sees you as very attractive as well. This person has a lot of attraction. You light this person up is what I feel. This person really enjoys your company as well. Show me the energy of the connection between Gemini and this person. Please show me the energy of this connection that surrounds them at this time. So two of pentacles. You're being juggled, right? So there's other people involved with that two of pentacles energy. Two of pentacles is Capricorn. 
Three of Swords, bottom of the deck, Libra energy, healing a broken heart. So this has distracted you from from a broken heart. Possibly this was a good idea in the moment, in the in in the moment of passion. But now you're wanting more. You're recognizing that there's not a lot of um, direction with this person. This person's juggling you. This person isn't choosing you is what I feel. But I do feel there's a movement towards healing here because the Three of Swords is in the reverse. You are dealing with someone that is very emotionally detached. And that might have been okay for you in the beginning because you were wanting to detach from your feelings and emotions with that Five of Swords energy. That's Aquarius energy. But now you're seeing that there's nothing more with this person. This person isn't offering you their heart. This person wants to keep everything the same. This person wants to continue to keep you in competition or juggling you. This person isn't choosing you is what I'm feeling here. Show me the outcome of this relationship, this connection. Show me the outcome between Gemini and this person. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Gemini energy, that's you. So I do feel that you're not going to stress about it for too long. Like, I don't feel that you're, you know, carrying any major attachment to it. It's probably running its course is what I feel, right? It's, it's served its purpose. You are recognizing that this person isn't offering you more than that, right? This is a part of your lesson. This is a part of a karmic cycle where you're meant to learn something, Gemini, with that page of swords energy. That's also you. So you are learning something very value from being in this connection, is what I feel. Possibly you're wanting to be more than a third party. You're wanting to be in a connection where you're giving, receiving, right? Ready to open your heart, not wanting to be juggled. I don't feel this is something that you are carrying burden with, however, is what I'm feeling. So I'm going to clarify this a little bit further. I'm going to use a different deck to see if I can dive a little bit deeper. I'm going to start with your person here, this King of Wands, the person that you're in a connection with. Please give me more energy on that King of Wands spirit for the person that's connecting to Gemini in love. Why is the King of Wands here? Give me more energy on the King of Wands for the person that's connecting to Gemini in love. The lovers in the reverse, Gemini energy, right? You know this person's not going to choose you. You know that this person was only interested in a physical relation, and I don't relationship, and I don't feel this person betrayed you or led you on either. I think this person's always been very clear about that. That there's no love here. This person does not like to feel. This person's very much in avoidance of their emotions, and I don't feel this person offered you more than that. Now, there is third party, so I don't know what part you play in this, but there is definitely a choice between two. And I think that this person is showing you that they're not going to choose you, is what I feel, because this person doesn't want to be in a commitment where they are emotional or vulnerable, is what I feel, with that lovers in the reverse. Clarify the Two of Pentacles for the energy of the connection. Please give me more on that Two of Pentacles spirit. Six of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy. You've been doing this for a while. You've possibly been in this cycle for a while. You've been stuck in this for a while with the chariot in the reverse. Looking for something. Looking for some type of balance. But nothing's changed is what I feel. You're dealing with the Knight of Wands in the reverse. You're dealing with this, a player. Sagittarius energy. This person has not misled you. Possibly has misled somebody else. This person is only interested in a physical commitment. This person is not offering you anything outside of that is what I feel. Nine of Swords. Eight of Cups. I feel that you've been stuck in that energy for a long time. So possibly it has caused you some stress. But the outcome is you letting that go. Letting the stress go. Letting it go. I feel that you're going to stop overanalyzing the situation, looking for something more, recognizing it is what it is and its purpose is served. You were meant to learn something from this connection and I feel that you have learned something and now you're releasing the stress of the connection. Show me clarification on the outcome. Why the nine of swords in the reverse? I feel you are closing or walking away from the guilt or from participating give me more energy on that nine of swords in the reverse three of cups 
you do recognize that you're dealing with someone that is very devoid of feelings and emotions. This person probably has an addiction, nine of swords, right? It says healing from an addiction. I think that you're in a connection with someone that's um, possibly addicted to sex. Could be you, right? There's a sexual addiction here, but I feel it's it's in, included to this king of wands, right? Who has multiple people, the third, three of cups, that's their tribe. This person has a tribe. So I don't feel that you're going to take it too personally for the way that this person is treating you. I think this is something that you were aware of and something that you uh, were in for a period of time. But now you're starting to feel stuck in it. So you are going to release this is what I feel. You are going to possibly move away from this non-committal, sexually <laughs> driven person. Give me another card on the Three of Cups. Give me another card on that Three of Cups. Three of Cups is Cancer Energy. Six of Cups in the reverse. You know this isn't your forever after. You know this person isn't your soulmate. You know this is a part of a cycle to make you improve, to become better, to heal something within your heart with the Scorpio death card at the bottom of the deck. This has been for a, a purpose. This person has come into your life to teach you about something that you need to heal within yourself is what I feel. I'm going to leave that there, Gemini. Let me know if this resonates to your story. If you have not done so, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.